Now, on another matter, the past six months have shown an uncomfortably bright light on the moral rot festering on America's university campuses. Just yesterday, the president of Columbia Hedge, when asked whether chance of from the river to the sea and long live the intifada are properly considered anti-Semitism. This comes after numerous incidents on her campus, including a student club president issuing an email that read, white Jewish people today and always have been the oppressors of all brown people. And when I say the Holocaust wasn't special, I meant that. Of course, the light of truth doesn't discriminate, and it's uncovered much more than an alarming taste for the world's oldest form of hate. Last month, a federal judge found that an assistant professor at Harvard Medical School had committed plagiarism in a report submitted on behalf of plaintiffs in a class action lawsuit. And if this weren't enough, Harvard's Office of Equity, Diversity, Inclusion, and Belonging recently announced they will host racially segregated affinity celebrations during their 2024 commencement. These are the institutions that President Biden wants working Americans to underwrite. These are the degrees that President Biden wants taxpayers to subsidize. Last summer, the Supreme Court ruled that the president's initial attempt at student loan socialism was unconstitutional. Nevertheless, Washington Democrats continue to double down. Early this week, the Biden administration proposed yet another nearly $150 billion round of student loan transfers. That's on top of more than $150 billion they've already rolled out. At a most basic level, the proposal betrays a staggering disdain for working Americans, both those who have paid off their debt and those who opted not to take on debt in the first place. It will transfer the loans of the highest earning members of Washington Democrats' base to working taxpayers. And it's already driven up tuition costs for future students. But the Biden administration has made it pretty clear that they don't care about future students. Just look at the way they are handling the current round of FASSA applications. Last week, the Education Department admitted that its own date and processing errors had compromised up to 30% of federal financial aid applications. Just as prospective students <clears throat> and their families were facing enrollment deadlines, Washington Democrats apparently couldn't care less whether prospective students <clears throat> made informed decisions. Apparently, hefty tuition costs don't matter much if taxpayers will be the ones ultimately putting the pill. Well, I expect that working Americans across the country will have something to say about this in the fall.